channel so today i'm gonna give you all this first impressions um kind of thing on this here face um don't judge me if you watch the end of the video you'll understand why it looks like this this down the third um i was asked by a subscriber to review the wet and wild photo finish products the foundation and the concealer and i did just that it's been a about two weeks since she asked me but hey I still got it out um if you all would like to see this and the colors I use <laughs> please stay tuned photo finish um foundation and concealer so I ordered this online at Walmart um and the shade I picked is toffee but it looked a lot darker than with this is I probably should have got cocoa so this is the um foundation and toffee and i got the concealer in medium tawny i think the concealer will match i just have to figure out how to the concealer is a good color i just have to figure out how to get this to work so we're gonna it twist off all right and this is what the applicator looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on my skin I guess I'm not sure. This might just be too, too light for me, but we're going to work with it and see. So let's go. Oh, it's a nice consistency color. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out. Now, you all see, I really don't have blemishes on my skin, so um, either light or full coverage is good for me. I prefer full coverage just because I do have discoloration like with my pigmentation. Um, pretty much like everybody else. Um, well, some people. The inside of my face is lighter than the outside of my face. So, sometimes the full coverage really just makes that all different. Okay, and I'm not gonna blend this into my hairline because I am doing a quick weave. You all will get that video soon. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it the other side real quick. Um, blend this down to my neck. It looks light as ever. If you all can see that. <laughs> Crazy, right? Alright guys, so this is the color, um, I don't know, I'm gonna make it work. I don't think it's too off, but for me it's a little, a little off, but we're gonna keep so, going in with the concealer, and again, this is a medium tawny, and this was around $3 and some change from Walmart as well. And we're just gonna highlight like we normally would. I'm not gonna do too much though. Because, like I said, I want this to be something subtle. Because it's like 7 o'clock. <laughs> and I'm recording this video. I like the consistency of this um, concealer. It seems to be full coverage. Um, I don't know. It just it, it is very, very nice to me. So next I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out.
And just to stick with the Wet n Wild thing, I tried to get as many products, well, use as many products as I could that are Wet n Wild. I'm gonna glow up with the Wet n Wild Center Stage Collection by Fergie in this Starlight Bronze in 348. And then I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild's Bear It All. I used to love this lipstick. Like, love. And I never use a lot. Because, I mean, I just never do. To set this look off, I'm going to go in the corner of my eyes, just because it's plain giant. I'm going to go in the corner of my eyes with the bronzer, just to spruce things up a little bit. Now, I have not had this foundation on very long, but I can already see it creasing right in here. I'll zoom up so you can see. But right in here, it's already creasing. I did prime and moisturize before I applied my foundation, as I always do. Um, in about two to three hours, I'm going to let you all know how this lasted. Um, the foundation did okay. I mean, even though it looks really light in the bottle, it applied really, you know, dark, darker than what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to wear this for a couple hours. Um, all right, guys. So I'm back. Um... It's been a good little minute or whatever you want to call it since I applied this foundation. Um, I didn't get any more, I guess, lines, creasing or whatever in this area. And it is still pretty, still pretty matte. Now, in person, it looks like this matches my skin tone. On camera, I'm white as fuck. Because I recorded a video after I did this one before I left. And I just look white. <laughs> you all will see. <laughs> it's a how I mold my hair video. Anyway, so um, I do like this. I am going to mix it with um, my 356 Warm Coconut from uh, Maybelline. And you see that they're different colors. This is a little darker. Probably mix it with some of that um, just to get to work. I did love the the um, concealer. The concealer, I think, will be a new staple right now. I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape, trying to get my feelings on that, you know, before I come on here and say, hey, I like it and stuff. But, yeah, anyway. Um, I did take pictures in the light and in the dark. I will insert them either here or or at the end or the beginning you all know how this goes um and i did not get any flashback like the pictures were very pretty like the pictures look like i have very very smooth skin i do but sometimes with makeup um i know it's like along in these lines in this area here i get like little bumps but i didn't with this look um like so this is a very minimal look I didn't want to do too much because I just wanted to test out the foundation and the concealer. You probably want wondering why I didn't um, contour up here because in my molding video, I look really, really wide up here. But I didn't contour up here because I had on a scarf earlier and it was it was pointless to have to contour up here when I was going to have a scarf and all the product would be on the scarf. But... um. For the money, I think this product is worth it. Um, if you can find your shade now on, on Walmart.com, they had like at least 15 different shades. You just have to make sure <laughs> it's the shade because I promise you, this is not what toffee looked like on the picture. Um, it says this is a medium deep and it's a neutral color, but it's not. Um, I don't. I don't think so, honestly. Cause I usually can get away with most light colors, you know, I can pull it off, but I just, yeah. I also need to get a darker, like, set I'm using the MAC bronzing powder in the color bronze, and it looks like this. 
I mean, and I feel like that's like a really, really nice dark color. I've hit <laughs> a really nice dark color, you know, but anyway, I'm going to look into getting like a darker setting powder. So if you all have any preferably drugstore setting powders I could try out, please let me know. Um, please stay tuned because I'm going to have a couple videos coming out next week. This video is coming out. My how to mold video is coming out two different ways for um cutting the cap off a quick weave and not cutting the cutting the cap and then i'm gonna have a individuals i'm gonna try those i'm gonna paint my nails using my sensational gel kits as well as that quick weave video is coming out and i'm gonna do a one brand makeup tutorial y'all be tuned to be sure to watch to check out for y'all be sure to watch out for that okay so i'm gonna have a couple of things coming out this week and i'm so glad but i just want to say thank you nick knack for asking me to try this um foundation and the concealer i think the concealer for sure is gonna be a staple product um i just still gotta work with the foundation and yeah i guess until next time guys peace love